join the team. Hey team, this is McGuire Review, and today we're going to take a look at the Pathfinder 2E 2nd Edition. This is the Adventure Path uh, Ruins of Gauntlet, and these Adventure Paths will follow a very small chapter book type approach. It's something really cool that Paizo does with their Adventure Paths, which are essentially... Um, many stories that take place outside of the larger uh, book releases of campaigns. These are these are smaller, um, created type adventure paths that you can go on. So this one here is the first as the part of Abomination Vault's adventure path. And that is going to be a three-part adventure path. And we'll read at the back here. And this is going to be a shorter video just to kind of explain what you're going to find here in this book. Try not to give any spoilers by any means. Uh, so both players and, and GMs or DMs can can uh, watch this video without fear of, of too much of a spoiling. I'll try to keep away from any of the uh, more uh, critical details of what you're going to find in here. So it's enter the mega dungeon. So this one's going to be all about a dungeon dive, a dangerous at that dungeon dive. It says, when the mysterious lighthouse called Gauntlight glows with baneful light... The people of Atari know it's an ominous prelude to sinister events. The town's newest heroes must explore the ruins around the lighthouse and delve down into the dungeon levels beneath it. Hideous monsters, deadly traps, and vengeful ghosts all wait the heroes who dare to enter the sprawling mega-dungeon called the Abomination Vaults. The Abomination Vaults adventure path begins with Runes of Gauntlet. That's what we have right here, the first part. A complete adventure for first to fourth level characters. Inside, you are going to find some maps, and I'll, I'll try to not, well, show them too much, but uh, what you're going to get into, and I'll look at this first uh, page here, is there's going to be a number of chapters. You're going to have four chapters you're going to be able to go through. You're also going to have your city of, of Atari that is going to be um, in this book, so you'll understand what that city looks like, all the different shops and different places and NPCs you'll be able to get in that city that the players can interact with, uh, possibly in between these chapters and or before or after. Again, I'm not going to dive into all the details there to not give any real spoilers. And there's also going to be an adventure toolkit where you'll be able to understand how this fits into the overarching adventure path and the other books that will go along with this. So chapter one is A Light in the Fog. Chapter two is The Forgotten Dungeon. Chapter three is Cult of the Canker. And chapter four is Long Dream the Dead. And those are the four chapters that you'll be able to go through. There's also an advancement track here that can help sort of move the characters through the levels based on the different milestone achievements that are made throughout Runes of Gauntlet. Okay, and then and then the book is essentially going to go into each one of the chapters. So you'll see here, chapter one, a light in the fog. You'll get some background, getting started, uh, ruins and the features, the synopsis, all of that from a GM's perspective, and then you're going to get all the different areas of that, uh, as well as any of the creatures that you would be able to run into as part of. Uh, that exploration within that chapter. And each one of these chapters are going to follow the exact same um, you know, outline. You are going to get some different types of gear and treasure that's going to be specific to this that you're going to find throughout as you're diving through the dungeons. Here we go into chapter 2, and it's the same thing, right? You're going to get maps, you're going to get all of the areas and all the monsters and different things you're going to be able to run into. All right, so there's not going to be any overhead video of this one this time uh, to just try to you know keep some of this sort of out of view, but it's just to understand what you are getting within these smaller chapter-sized books. There's a ton of value that's packed in here, and there's a lot of stuff uh, that's here. I mean, they don't by any means need to put so much effort. I mean, the, the effort that's put into this with the artwork and, and everything is really top-notch for just these smaller... Uh, run chapter books. Really awesome. Okay. Now we are going to go to um, the chapter on Atari and it will give you a full uh, run. And I think I can show this. They're going to give you a full rundown of what that's going to look like. That city there and all the different points on that city and what each one of those things are going to be 
whether it's a different NPC or a shop where you can actually uh, interact and, and get d different things. And there's, there's obviously going to be challenges as well as you enter those and you, you talk to various different people depending on what your results are. You may even get some extra little um, special things. And then here in the back there is the adventure toolbox which gives the full history and kind of the story to the adventure path that you're going through and then there's a nice timeline of how all that plays out as well as how this fits in to the other books that make up this adventure path um, there's also some very special items that are in the very back of this uh, box as well as various uh, different other things like uh, there's an archetype that's actually added in here as well so something that can be used as you advance out your characters, you build your characters, go forward. There's a new special arch type that's in here as well, which is pretty awesome. So that is the Runes of Gauntlet, which is part the first part of the Abomination Vaults adventure path. So if you are interested in doing these adventure paths, they're really cool. If you're doing a larger sprawling campaign, this might be something fun for your group to just say, hey, let's start some level one characters and on the off week or maybe once a month, we'll do a run uh, through this uh, adventure path and be able to have some fun. And again, you don't have to do the whole entire adventure path if you don't want to. That's why these are broke up in like three and so part chapters where you can just kind of do, you know, an exploration with this. I mean, it is level one through level four adventures. So you can go all the way up to, I believe, if you follow all the milestones, um, the hero should reach fifth level by the end of the venture. So if you do follow all the milestones and do everything in this chapter book, you can technically take heroes from level one all the way to level five. Um, so there could be some investment in this as well, or you can streamline a lot of this as a GM and make it your own uh, and make this more of a smaller, maybe multi-session um, gameplay. And that's that's all you do. So there's a lot of option here with these adventure paths. This is something really cool Paizo does. And if you want to check it out, you can get your hands on this now. It does, if I didn't say retail, the MSRP US is $24.99 for this little chapter book here. And again, you can always find those things cheaper online than that. So if you are interested, take a look at that. We will have a video here as well on the Ancestry Guide Lost Omens. This is a nice guide, more of a hardback, a little bit of a thicker book. It's going to build out a lot of the ancestries that are already in existence, as well as add quite a few new ones, which are really awesome. I'm going to build out what already exists with quite a few ancestries, as well as give you a ton of new ones that are really awesome. So hit that like, hit the subscribe below to join the team. Keep rolling, Chris. This has been the McGuire Review, and we'll see you next time.